Today I'm doing a tutorial on how to make um, these lovely pair of earrings. They're dangle earrings. They're made of paper. And they are very, very lightweight. And pretty easy to make. And they're colorful. Um, you can do any colors you want, naturally. Okay. Uh, this is my first tutorial, so hopefully you will bear with me and I will be able to show you how to do it. Hopefully my setup is pretty good. Okay. Um, so let's see my, our uh, tools and the things you're going to need. Uh, you're first going to need some scrap papers in different colors. You can choose whatever you like. Here are some of the colors that I chose and some of the scraps. You can uh, definitely use, uh, like, even if you have uh, just a little bit, or you can use bigger pieces of paper. This is just regular plain scrapbook paper that I am using here. Okay, I'm going to need some heavy duty paper. This is 185 pounds. I don't know if you can see, uh, 400 grams heavy paper. It's uh, you can get it at any arts and craft supply stores. And I like to use this paper because it's porous. It will take very good the glue very good. Um, I have some punches that I'm using a quarter inch half an inch and three quarters of an inch if you want bigger size earrings you can use the half an inch and the inch size as well okay. I have some tools here I have some brushes triple zero and number six I have some um, scores, stick wood sticks, like um, you can use cute uh, toothpicks. This, this will help, helps to pick up the paper. Uh, metallic Prismacolor broad gold color. You can use any kind of marker that you want. I like, I like to use the gold. Some glue spreaders. And I have some clips, like that, these clips. It helps when I glue two pieces of paper together to make it adhere. I have some heavy paper, just a few pieces. My scissors, my large scissors, my small scissors. Glue regular school white glue and I have keep handy a paper towel and I keep also a washcloth that's a little bit wet which is good when I use glue and it gets on my fingers and I need to wipe it off otherwise it gets on the paper and it will get it dirty that's basically it oh I'm sorry um, forgot a couple of things thread I'm gonna be using a uh, silver thread here today just very fine thread just make sure it's very strong that it wouldn't tear easily and clear varnish I have different kinds today I'm gonna to use the door clear gloss varnish but you can use any varnish that you would like I think that's about it okay so the first step that I do is I take this heavy duty white paper, I take the three quarters of an inch punch, and I punch a few circles out. For this pair of earrings, you're gonna need 10, because it uses, white, uh, uses five, on each earring. So you're gonna be needing to punch 10 of them. 
okay after that you're going to take uh, some of the colored papers and you're going to punch 20 circles of the same size but the 20 that you're going to punch we're going to be two of the same color because they have to match actually it's 40 it's 20 for each earring so you're going to need 40 i'm sorry 40 of those circles Remember, you're going to need two of each color. And there are no rules. You can just do whichever one you like. As long as, you know, you like the color scheme. Here I did two and two and four. Two of these. Let's do, do this. One, two. Etc. etc. Once you've finished doing this and you've done all 40, you can take all the white ones together and then take all the colored ones and you're going to paint the edges. Take the marker and paint the edge. The reason is we really don't want to have any white showing on the earring. It's really cool if you're using a different color um, markers. You can also use, you know what, let me show you. Let's say I'm taking, I decide to have more of a blue accent instead of a gold accent. Then you take Prismacolor Blue and you color the edge in blue. So you will be able to see the, the blue color through on your design. You just always color the edges too so that the white won't show. See? Okay. After you prepared 10 of the, the white ones, 40 of the different colors, We're going to take more colors and prepare circles. In different colors. I start with the smaller one, with the smaller punch. And remember we do, I do anyway, you don't really have to, but I like to do two of each because the earrings have to be symmetric so we'll do two of the small ones then I take the next size and I make sure that the circle that I punched before is in the center I punch it out and I have a hook
and then I take the next size over which is the three quarters and I do the same thing just make sure it's even okay and you do that with the different colors let's do a pink one Take the pink. If you have different color, different punches at home and you want to do flowers or butterflies, or different themes by all means you know you can do different designs if you don't have punches you can just take paper and do hand cut or you can paint you can just do circles cut it with scissors and paint it by hand okay let's do the gold This is a gold glitter paper. I don't know if you can see. I love it. When you finish doing all that, I prepared some ahead of time. Oh, and you can see it's all organized here. and I separate it into the different colors and I have it ready okay okay now when it's done I organize the way that I want it to, to look you know let's say Two here, two here. I will put two on each side. This is just the light. It looks like a different color, but it's pink. It's just how the light reflects on it. Okay. Okay, so let's say this is my arrangement of the earring that I want to do, and I keep it on the side so that I'll remember the order. I take the 10 white thick paper that I did. The first one that's gonna go all the way to the end, I'm cutting in the middle, not all the way through, and I make a little slit. 
like so. Okay. Make a little slit and I do not cut it all the way to the end because this is going to be the end piece. It's going to sit like this against the earrings and it's going to have thread going all the way through so I don't want the thread to come out here. I take the glue I will glue this onto here and then I will glue the other end over here make it like a sandwich with the white piece in the middle okay if you can see it we'll have the white piece in the middle and it'll have thread running through everything but first, let's do the design. So each one of those is one side because it's a sandwich. It's going one on this side and one on that side. So let's do um, let's do this here. And I'll put these two in the middle. Okay. Let's prepare some of the glue. Okay, I put my glue on a little wax paper. I also have some water, a little plastic cup with water for the brush. glue the edges of the disc very lightly and I'll leave it on the side to dry. Do the same thing here. I'll put this in the center with my stick. Oops. And with my glue, with my uh, spread air, glue spread, I just tap it a little bit. Okay. Do the same thing here.
okay etc etc and then you can take this one which will be the back side and let's do um, what do I want to do let's do this one in gold and we'll do the center in in this Make sure it's aligned in the center. And you do the same to all of them, just different designs in couples. Okay, you do all of them the same way in couples. Here are some that I've already done, that I finished. Okay, here you can see that I already glued this one in. I'm gonna do the same to this one. Turn it over. And glue it to the disc. Oh, I forgot to paint the gold on it. Never mind, I'll do it in a minute. Okay, when they're done, you take the disc and you paint gold over it too. Just make sure it's all nice and covered. You can see it really well how you can still see the blue edge of the paper. I just recommend to let the glue dry before you use a marker on it because then the glue will get on the marker and it will ruin it. 
So just make it, make sure that it's dry. The one I'm using is uh, the metallic gold. It is also waterproof. It will go very nicely on glue once the glue dries, of course. It's not gonna run. Okay. If you're using other markers on uh, scrapbook paper that is for some of them can run onto the paper so just beware you know not all of them go on very nicely if it happens just do it very very lightly and I'll show you what I mean in a second let me show you okay Let's say you take this fake paper and you take this marker and you use the broad side to paint the edge, it will bleed, you see? It will bleed right through it. And you don't want that. So what I do to prevent it is use the fine side very lightly. Yeah, or use a different kind of marker. You there. You can also use. Um, what do I want to show you? Let me show you something. <laughs> okay, here. This is the fine gold, met metallic gold. You can use those. And if you have a round ruler, which I should have somewhere. put it right now but let's say you have a round um, with a, a ruler with circles you can just make a very nice circle right around this way around it that's also another way to do it Or you can use glitter pens. Well, you can do that. Okay, let's go back to our earrings here. Okay. That's what happened. My mind goes 40 miles a minute and off track often. Okay. Okay. Okay, these are already dead. This part is done. So we glued the white side to this one. Now we're gonna make a sandwich. But first, uh, what I have to do is cut a piece of uh, thread. Okay, let me go get the thread. Use the thread. And I'm cutting a piece about 12 inches long. It really doesn't have to be this long, but it's good enough. 
I'll try to do it close so that you will see. I'm gluing the, gluing the back of this disc where the white part is. I'm putting the thread where the slit is. Right there, I see. Okay. Right there. I put the other side of the disc together. Okay, I'm gonna take two pieces of something else. Um, in this particular, uh, in this case, I'm using a thick piece of uh, paper on both sides and squishing them together. You just have to make sure that you know to keep realigning it because it they do move. Once it's pretty much set in there. Make a sandwich, take a clip, both sides evenly, it doesn't have to be there long, it'll set pretty fast, okay? You do the same thing to the other one in, in the meantime, take a piece of thread. Cut 12 inches. And do the same thing. I got a little glue on my hand, so I'm gonna just take my towel, my wet towel, and wipe it. Let it dry for a few minutes. In the meantime, I can work on the other ones. Okay. I have, uh, ooh, these don't match. Here we go. There we go. I'm going to cut the rest of them in two halves. Cut a little bit less than a half. See, it's not even. It's a little less than a half. Okay. 
So now, okay, these are even. What I do is I glue it so that there'll be a slit right there in the middle. Like so. I put glue on the disc. So, just let it set for a minute. Make sure it doesn't go over the edges. Okay. And lightly press, very lightly, because if you press too hard, it'll run away. the same thing here also you don't want to put too much glue you just want to put enough so that it will stick and cover everything but if you put too much glue it starts to get runny it runs over the edges then everything gets dirty and you don't want that you just want a little bit of glue to have it to have it cover enough Press it just a little lightly. Make sure it's all aligned. See over here it runs out a little bit. If you can see it here. So you just need to press it down a little bit. And if I'm holding my fingers in all the four corners and very lightly I'm aligning it okay and that's all you need you really don't need more than that just a very very hairline slit there just enough so that the thread can be embedded in there okay so we have everything ready to assemble the earrings now This should be ready. Okay, you see the thread coming out? Don't pull because it's not 100% dry yet. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we, we have one with a, a slit and one to, to cover, one with a slit and one to cover, one with a slit, one to cover. Be not generous, but have enough glue in order to cover. Okay, I wanna pick it up so you'll see, hold on. See how the thread is now inside this, oh, it fell. It, it's inside the slit and it's covered. So one second, I gotta fix it, okay. And I take the other piece. Now make sure it's not 100% tight in there because if you'll get glue to in this area right here between them they'll stick together and you won't lose that dangle 
Okay. Again, with four fingers, four, four corners, make sure it's nice and aligned. Okay, you see how the thread moved a little bit? It's okay, it's still wet, and you can just pull it where you want it. I'm just gonna clean up the disc a little bit if, because I got some glue on there when it fell. If that happens, what I do is I get a little bit of a wet towel, just a little teeny bit, not too wet, and just wipe it clean. Okay, that should be good. Let's do the other one. We'll let this one set. Put this one on the side and we'll do this one. Okay, this one had a little bit too much glue and this is what happened. So again, take a little bit of the wet towel and wipe it down. We don't want to have too much glue on the outside because then the discs will stick together and they will stand funny and will not dangle. Okay. Okay. daughter is sanding upstairs she's redoing the floors I was really hoping to finish the video before she starts she warned me and I kind of knew but it's okay it took a little longer than I thought so we're a very handy family <laughs> and right now she is redoing upstairs she will just finish the kitchen She's took all the carpets in the bedroom and she's rebuffing the floors and restaining them. Okay, so let's try to rush through it. on it make it strong and tight
putting the clip on to get it to hold. Let's do the other ones. If you get this, something like that, you see where it's moving back and forth, that's okay. If it's the middle one, that's okay. As long as it's not the first one, it's okay. Okay. Press on it. Okay. Some excess glue is coming out. I'm just swiping it out. Okay. Press. Okay, now I'm just going to go and get um, some findings in order to complete the earrings. I need a couple hooks and I need the, the, the French hook for that earring. You can use a couple of these if you like, or I like to use these. I'm going to use silver, perhaps. You can use silver or you can use gold. Hmm, do I always, you know what? No, let's use antique bronze because I used gold. In my theme. Okay, I'll use these. Okay.
Okay. That's my finding. I have two loops, two hooks, I mean, it's two rings. I don't know why I call them loops, because they loop around, but it's called rings. Okay. Let's see if this is dry enough. Okay. This is the end of the earring. And now what we need to do is uh, punch a hole in it and finish it up. Well, I use, I have a hole punch, but if you don't have a hole punch, you can use uh, a little uh, nail to put it in or a needle or a thick pin or a safety pin or anything that's sharp enough to punch a hole through. It only has three uh, layers of paper, which is really not too thick. Um, and you, you should be able to do it just fine. I have uh, a tool that I use to punch a hole. I'm gonna use this. little bit of glue went on there and just wipe it up okay And then right in there. Okay. So it's actually just, it got loose. I just want to strengthen it a little bit. second I didn't let it dry through. It just got loose a little bit. Okay, we'll leave it alone for now. Do the other one. Have a hole. Okay. We 
open the hook oops we'll put it through put the hook in and close it and it's done the finished ones I'll show it to you again not that they're finished okay the only other the only step that now you have you have to do when when you finish this and after the glue dries is to put to apply varnish let's sh I'll show you how to apply the varnish now you're gonna do one side let it dry after it dries you're gonna turn it over and do the other side okay so you take the varnish and a brush Okay, I have it over wax paper. Actually, I'm gonna just hold it with this so that I'm not gonna get my hand on there. You can apply more, more coats if you like, if you want it more smooth, more shiny. Over here it got loose a little bit then I'm gonna have to fix it just because it didn't wait for it to dry I punched the hole a little too early before it was a hundred percent dry so I do suggest to let it dry for at least a half hour before you do it okay and there you go thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it, my first tutorial, and uh, have fun.